Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Show Me ChatGPT plugin to create and edit diagrams directly in ChatGPT. Right, so first let's talk about some use cases of the Show Me ChatGPT plugin. I have a full tutorial on my website roihacks.com that you can also check out using the link in the description below. And here I talk about some use cases of the ChatGPT plugin. So before I show you an actual example, let's talk about some use cases. So as you can see, I have listed out six use cases here, but there are more. So you can use this plugin for a lot of use cases. For instance, you can use it to explain complex concepts. You can use it to visualize processes. You can use it for summarizing information, such as key points from a book or the main events in a historical period. The plugin can create a mind map or timeline to help you visualize it. You can use it for teaching and learning. For example, you could ask for a diagram showing the structure of a cell or the stages of the water cycle. You can also use it for technical diagrams and you can also use it for project planning, for instance. I also include some good ChatGPT prompts in the article for the Show Me ChatGPT plugin. So make sure to check out the article. And by the way, I also have a full database of all ChatGPT plugins with the prompts and how you can use these ChatGPT plugins. This is a ChatGPT plugin database that I update daily. So make sure to check out that as well. You can find the link to that in the description below. All right, so let's see an example how to use the Show Me ChatGPT plugin. So first you have to make sure that you are a ChatGPT Plus subscriber. So if you see Upgrade to Plus on the left here, click on that and you have to be purchase the Plus subscription to be able to access and use third-party ChatGPT plugins. Then the second thing you have to make sure is that plugins are enabled in your ChatGPT Plus account. And you can check that by clicking on your account name and selecting settings and selecting beta features and make sure that plugins are turned on here. All right, then you also have to make sure that the Show Me ChatGPT plugin is installed in your account. So for me, I have already installed it, as you can see here. If you do not see it from the list, of course, first you have to select GPT-4 here, then plugins here, and you will see then this plugin icon section, click on the down arrow. If you do not see it here, you have to click on plugin store and find the Show Me ChatGPT plugin in the plugin store. As you can see, I have already installed it. So, but if it's not installed for you, you just have to click on install instead of uninstall here and then you're going to be able to use the show me chat gpt plugin and last but not least you also have to make sure that the plugin is enabled in your account because if uh, only three plugins can be enabled and if it, the plugin is not even enabled you're not going to be able to interact with it all right so let's see an example I'm going to use an example prompt from my article on the show me chat gpt plugin as you can see here, you can use a natural language to interact with the uh, Show Me ChatGPT plugin. So you don't have to use any kind of functions or code to be able to interact with the plugin. So let's see this example. Show me a diagram of how data flows in a machine learning model and click on execute. And let's see if the plugin is working correctly. So as you can see, using Show Me ChatGPT plugin. So the plugin is activated and here's what it is doing. I'm not a technical person, so I can't really understand what is it doing here. But as you can see, here's a basic diagram of how data flows in a machine learning model. So we get this nice data, then it gets processed, then it goes to training, and then machine learning model is created, and then we get the output. And you can also edit this uh, diagram here if you want to do that. And you can also check out their GitHub projects that they are working on. But all in all, this is how to use the Show Me ChatGPT plugin to create and edit diagrams in your ChatGPT conversations. As I mentioned, if you want to see some example prompts, make sure to check out my article on ryhex.com. And if you want to get the full database of all available ChatGPT plugins, then you can also check out my website and get access to the database for absolutely free.